I'd like to start by welcoming you all to Sarah Malcolm's wedding. It's really nice to see so many of their family and friends here. My first task is to thank everyone who's put their time and effort into making this day a so special. This is not just any wedding, this is an m and wedding. <laughs> a Malcolm and Sarah wedding. <laughs> hope someone's got a Sparks card, hope you get points. <laughs> Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, family members and friends. On behalf of Kevin and Lynn, may I give you a warm welcome to the marriage of their daughter, Sarah, to Malcolm. May I extend their thanks in having the pleasure of your company and appreciation for you being here to share on Sarah and Malcolm's special day. Well, I always enjoy hearing the story of how a couple got together and the journey that they've been on. Malcolm and Sarah are childhood sweethearts, and that has led us to the Bump Springs today. And when I asked them what their first impressions were of each other, Sarah said that Malcolm was handsome and friendly. Malcolm's first impressions of Sarah, a little loud, but that she was cute. Now, what do I say about Malky? Well, to be fair to him, he doesn't really misbehave much. So I might be better telling some stories about Sarah instead. <laughs> now, Malcolm, the thing with Sarah is, she's always going to tell you how it is, as I'm sure you already know. She's always been like this and says, burns are like pancakes. You keep going to you make a perfect one, like we did with her. <laughs> However, our view is that she'd been my first, she'd be my last. <laughs> after that, the relationship flourished and Malcolm knew that he wanted to marry Sarah. So after asking Kevin and Lynn's permission to marry their daughter, it was in March 2016, whilst they were in Glasgow, that Malcolm came up with a plan. They had been enjoying cocktails in the hotel when Malcolm announced that he wasn't feeling very well and needed to go back to the room to lie down, leaving Sarah downstairs to continue with the cocktails, I assume. She eventually received a message asking, him, asking her to come back up to the room. Much to her surprise, she didn't find Malcolm ill, but rather a beautiful scene was set. Lights low, petals in the bed, and when Sarah was taking everything in, she turned round and Malcolm was down on one knee and proposed, asking her to be his wife. She said yes, and here we are today. A beautiful story of childhood sweethearts who have just grown in love together. Traditionally, this is when we welcome Malcolm into our family. However, Malcolm has been part of our family for the last nine years. If we had to pick our son-in-law, we would certainly choose Malcolm. Sarah, you could not get a better, better husband, Malcolm. Thanks for taking Sarah off her hands. <laughs> Today is a day you will always remember, the greatest in anyone's life. You'll start off the day just two people in love and end it as husband and wife. It's a brand new beginning, the start of a journey, with moments to cherish and treasure. And although there will be times when you both disagree, these will surely be outweighed by pleasure. You'll have heard many words of advice in the past when the secrets of marriage were spoken. But you know that the answers lie hidden inside, where the bond of true love lies unbroken. So live happy forever as lovers and friends. It's the dawn of a new life for you as you stand there together with love in your eyes from the moment you whisper, I do. And with luck, all your hopes and your dreams can be real. May success find its way to your hearts. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joys, but today is the day it all starts. Sarah, you look so stunning. I'm not going to lie, I did have a lump in my throat when I saw my little girl. We had dress in order to marry our first love. Lynn and I are so proud of the woman Sarah has become, even though it's been a windy route to get here. Seriously though, we are so proud of the pair of them. I'm sure you'll agree how bony a couple they make. Malcolm, repeat after me. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Malcolm Alexander Forsyth Maitland, that I, Malcolm Alexander Forsyth Maitland, 
Do take you, Sarah Lynn Alexander. Do take you, Sarah Lynn Alexander. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Sarah, please repeat after me. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Sarah Lynn Alexander. To witness that I, Sarah Lynn Alexander. Do take you, Malcolm Alexander for Scythe Maitland. Do take you, Malcolm Alexander for Scythe Maitland. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Malcolm and Sarah will now exchange rings to symbolize the covenant they have made together. Though small in size, these rings are very large in significance. Made of precious metal, they remind us that love is neither cheap nor common. Indeed, love may, be, may cost us dearly. Made in a circle, their design tells us that love must never come to an end. We must keep it continuous. As you are wearing these rings, whether together or apart for a moment, may they be constant reminders of these glad promises that you are making today. Malcolm, if you place it on our third finger and just hold it there. Repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body I honour you. With my body I honour you. All that I am I give to you. All that I am I give to you. And all that I have I share with you. All that I have I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body I honour you. With my body I honour you. All that I am I give to you. All that I am I give to you. And all that I have I share with you. All that I have I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. In the presence of God and these witnesses, Malcolm and Sarah have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of a ring. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. Malcolm, you may kiss your bride. Let's give them a clap. I'd like to start off by congratulating the new Mr. and Mrs. Maitland on their marriage today. I'd also like to thank you both on behalf of the bridesmaids and the groomsmen for letting us be part of your special day. I think we'd all agree it's been an excellent day so far. Thank you, Sarah, for putting in all your hard work to get things organised, and Malky for nodding along and agreeing with everything. <laughs> I asked them three favourite things about each other. Sarah said what she loved most about Malcolm was that he shows kindness, he's devoted and he demonstrates compassion. Malcolm said what he loved most about Sarah was that she's a fun personality, she's caring and she's gullible. Is that true? <laughs> and when I asked them how much they love their partner, Sarah said that she loved Malcolm almost as much as their rabbit. I'm hoping after today that, that Malcolm is above the rabbits. <laughs> but when I asked Malcolm how much he loved Sarah, he said more than words can say. So on behalf of my beautiful wife and I, we would like to thank you all for coming and sharing our special day with us. Thank you for all your generous gifts and messages over the last few months. They're all greatly appreciated. Malky has also shown his loving and romantic side, as I'm sure Sarah could tell us about, but none more so when they moved in together. Malky pulled out a chest and Sarah had no clue what was in it. He had kept all the love notes they had written to one another since the beginning of their relationship. Sarah has hidden it in the garage for it never to be seen again. Anyway, I've decided to get you both a little gift. So this is just a little chest for all your love notes to come in the future. <laughs> I 
This is when I'm supposed to give you tips to the newlyweds. Well, it continues you're doing, you make each other happy, and there's something very special. One thing's for sure, Malcolm, you've got to plenty of laughs with Sarah. I loved how Sarah described Malcolm as an object. She said that he was like an old ladder. Reliable, stable, and always there when you need him. And I pray that you will be that for each other. One answer that you both gave that was the same was that you are look what you're looking forward to most about being married, and that is making memories together as a married couple. Malky is the best friend you could ask for. Scaring, funny, and all round a great guy who would do anything for you. Sarah, Sarah, you've definitely found yourself a keeper with this one. It's true what they say, opposite do attract. I'm quiet, shy, and well, Sarah is just Sarah. <laughs> but, but my loving thanks really needs to go to her for today, for being here, for being so beautiful, kind and brilliant in so many ways, and now for being my wife. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. You know, Florence Nightingale said this, live life when you have it. Life is a splendid gift. There's nothing small about it. So be dedicated to enjoying life together. Keep traveling, keep making memories, keep enjoying each other.